Welcome to my channel, Catherine the Paint. Today I am going to play with my Arteza 32 pouring acrylic colors that I got. <laughs> I'm excited. So, um, I have pulled out a few colors. I'm trying to stay away from my normal blues and greens, so <laughs> I have pulled out a bronze, metallic red wine, cerise pink, coral, and then titanium white. So I'm going to pour those over a vase. I have so, well, it's like a goblet actually. I need to pour a bunch of vases because I sold all of them except like one or two for Christmas. And so now I'm trying to restock. And I figured if it ends up using all of the paints that these aren't my favorite colors, so you know. <laughs> Bronze. Trying to make sure that it's going in plate rivets, the rivulets, rivulets, whatever, that aren't covered already, so that it starts covering more spots. So I'm gonna use my finger to help that along and then pour more paint. Sometimes I get in such a hurry with these faces that I use way too much paint. So I really don't want to waste a ton of paint. All right, I'm going to turn it so I can see the other side. You know, I have a, what do you call them? Lazy Susan. I need to get that out so that I make it easier on some of this. Because I have one and haven't used it yet. And it would have been perfect for this. Okay. All right, let's pour some of this color on there. Should I put some white on the base too? Why not? Oh my gosh, we have missed a huge spot right there. And another one right there. I think it's much easier to just pour it in a cup and then pour it. <laughs> I don't think I've done it this way. Interesting. Sounds a little bit bronze. five minutes or so and then I will move it off the canvas and then we will start tilting the canvas so I'll be back okay so it's been sitting here for a while and I'm going to pick it up and put it over here so we can do the canvas hopefully without a tragedy 
Let's see. The suction. All right. All right. There we go. Yay. Let me touch it a little bit. Oh, I think that's just from the cup. Okay. No, we'll see. Not sure I have enough paint. We'll see. Keep it from losing too much paint. See what stretching out we can do. Wouldn't mind if it goes off a little here, and if I could get it to go off there a little bit, then I'm good. Then I will fill in the rest with white because I like the pattern, I think it's cool. Now, I think we can clean it up. I'm actually thinking about leaving that there and then just cleaning up these edges over here. And I'm going to turn it back around so I can look at it. <laughs> How about that? I think I am going to call it done. Okay, here are the dried results. And I have put a layer of resin on this cup. I really love the cup. I think it's really cool. So, it looks really nice with the resin. Yep, I like that. I'm not crazy about the painting. I think it's probably going to be painted over. But I do like, there are parts of it that I like. Like I love the swirls. The swirl in the middle. So there it is, guys. I got a good goblet out of it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.